So last night I got into Morgan Hill here in California for the outpouring conference with Pastor Rich Adams. And uh, this morning, before I get the day going, I wanted to share with you something. The scripture says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which you were called and be thankful. Thankfulness and letting the peace of Christ rule are connected. A heart of gratitude opens up the ability to receive and sense God's presence. So let me encourage you today, no matter what's in front of you today, you have the riches of the person of Jesus Christ through fellowship with the Spirit that you can all day enjoy. You can go into joy. You can go into peace. You can sink into love simply by giving attention to His presence. So let the peace of Christ rule your hearts to which you were called and be thankful. So I'm heading right now to Richard's house. I think we're going to just sit before the Lord for a little while in prayer. Well, <clears throat> first day of the outpouring conference, we're all together, super excited. We got Richard Adams, Joshua Kelly, Jackie Baker. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we're here waiting in Starbucks. We're gonna get a coffee. But let me just throw a question out. Whoever wants to take it can take it. Did anybody sense anything from the Lord personally this morning? The posture of seeking is the posture of finding. If you continually seek, you will continually find. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was really thinking about something that Rich said yesterday, which is that, that he disciplines those that he loves, and without the rebuke, there is no godliness, you know, and it's just precious when the Lord disciplines you. I mean, it's, it's, it means you're not an illegitimate son. It's really that same, along those same lines, what God's kept me in, in really Hebrews, and he's talking about uh, the language that speaks to us as sons, and that's the discipline that we've been talking about. He's Hebrews says it's it's the discipline that reveals his holiness. So it's like it's like stay on the potter's wheel. It's like give yourself to him and allow him to to actually really develop in you everything he's called you. Before the foundation of the earth, he's called us to be, you know, he's our creator. He's called us to 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 be he's spoken this into existence and uh, unless we submit ourselves completely to him and uh man you'll never step into what God has called you to. So last time I was here, Richard was building this uh, prayer place and now it's finished. Yeah. It got done with like a, a leaders meeting here before the outpouring. Rich, glory, Jackie Baker led worship. It was so filled with presence. People were just drunk. And we're waiting to see, uh, to see what will happen tonight. We get the privilege of, of, of literally taking what God has given us and stewarding it and this this works together as all of us standing do our part each person steps into their position to do their part and we get to just steward this together and we get to see the glory of god fall on a city and this this ripple effect man is going it's already all over the place um you can talk to ben right here what's happening here is happening how's there. it going it's happening, it's happening all over the place guys and you guys have seen it. Uh, seen where it. When at. we party for Jesus, it's supposed to be the greatest thing. It's supposed to draw the people in because we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So on three, before Come we on. pray, we're just gonna Come we're on. just gonna shout Jesus as loud as we can. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. he gave everything for us. Hallelujah. So we give everything for him. Okay? So one, two, three. Jesus! Hey, this is my friend Shane, and he's uh, moving to Mexico. Hey, how you doing? To uh, be a missionary. And he's starting a YouTube channel to start doing short teachings and things. Where can they find it? The Lehman's Life YouTube channel. What will be on there? 
Um, so it's going to be like videos that you can experience what it's like in the mission field in Mexico when we're hiking mountains to unreached villages, when we're putting on miracle tent meetings in the poor colonias and the barrios, um, when we're equipping about 1,500 people to 2,000 people in street evangelism, and we go out for three days and resulting in like 5,000 people coming to the Lord through one-on-one -on -one personal evangelism, signs and wonders, everything. It's amazing. Yeah. So, so you got you got to subscribe. You will love it. <laughs> The first night of the outpouring, we did worship all night in the amphitheater. It was uh, breaking the ground. You could feel it just breaking the ground. I'm looking forward to see what God will do tomorrow. <laughs> So talking about Thanksgiving, Hebrews chapter 12, check this out. Let us show gratitude. This gratitude, a heart of Thanksgiving is so important. It says next, by which, by what? By thankfulness, by a heart of gratitude, we may offer to God an acceptable service. You take gratitude out of the service and it is no longer acceptable. Our service is made acceptable by a heart disposition of gratitude unto God. <laughs> so I asked Ben what God has been saying to him. <laughs> you gotta hear this. This revelation of the bride is beautiful. Lately he's been having me lean into the sufferings of Jesus and in uh, Song of Solomon he says in 4.6 the Shulamite goes I've decided now after all this back and forth of running into the streets and pulling myself back into you I've decided I will climb the mountain of suffering and love with you I will be your bride and just like it's when we climb the mountain of Golgotha and are co-crucified with Jesus, that's when we become the bride. And right after that, that's when Jesus begins to open himself up to her and say, says, you're my ecstasy, you're my river of love that I drink from. You're the fruit and the garden and the wine, <laughs> my storehouse of love. So that suffering mountain of love is everything right now. <laughs> But that's where the bridal realm starts. Deciding to die with Jesus and relate to his suffering. All the joy you need, all the peace you need, everything that you could possibly desire in your heart is inside my new covenant, he says. And Jesus stands with a broken piece of bread and a glass of wine, and he says, this is the new covenant in my blood. Jesus opens up his being to us and says, come on in and enjoy the riches of my person. And I feel in my heart today, like there are people here that have slipped out of remembrance, literally began to forget the riches of this new covenant and that inside of it is everything. And so what begins to happen as we forget this wonderful new covenant, this matchless new covenant from a matchless God, what happens is all kinds of other things start creeping in our lives. I just got back from the outpouring. I preached on the supremacy and all sufficiency of Jesus, the new covenant. It was wonderful, sweet, joyful, blissful presence. There was many miracles and there was a, a worship rose to him like incense. It was a wonderful time. Outpouring was fantastic. Got to meet some precious, precious people. Here, here's a couple of them, as a matter of fact. Ready? I can say that. 
Get set, go. Hi. Hi. I just want to say, you just put Jesus first in your life. It's all about him. Yes. Yes. Woo. I'm on fire for Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Amen. He's number one. <laughs> hey guys, some of you have been asking us how you can support our YouTube channel. You've been blessed by the videos, the short films, short teachings, and the instrumentals. Listen, if you don't know about Patreon, Patreon, there is a way to support our YouTube channel with $1 a month. And I will leave the link underneath this video for how you can become a patron, a literal, a literal supporter of our YouTube channel for $1 a month. And I thank you so much for those of you that have asked about this. The link is down below. God bless you.